you've gone in and out of talking about emotional problems. One of the things that you did an episode of the Moth uh, podcast 15 years ago or something, where you told a personal story about growing up uh, that I heard it and was like, this is interesting to hear a comedian I really like talk about that. And it kind of inspired the free mics thing I did on Netflix in a weird way. Because I was like, oh, this is an interesting thing to hear. I don't think you especially like doing it. I think you'd rather just be fucking funny and opinionated. I'm definitely hair metal than, more hair metal than grunge. Yeah. Because hair metal bands had their pain, but we just sort of rocked our way through it. <laughs> <laughs> like you're saying we. We're, well, no, because yeah. Generation X, there's a dividing line. Yes. There's, you're on the hair metal 80 side, yep. fucking metal, beginning of speed metal and all of that shit, or you're into the grunge stuff, you know, uh, well, what they call grunge, because, the, you know, I still maintain the best album of the 90s as far as that music coming out during that era was Jane's Addiction's rit, uh, Ritual. Taylor Habitual. Ritual. I would that, completely agree. No album can fucking touch, I, I don't think. That second Top side, bottom. the second side of that, I learned how to meditate listening to that. It was so good. I did acid to it on high school and was like, this is the wrong, this was the wrong thing to do acid to. Oh, Couldn't three days? Go. Yeah. I, three That's days. That's exactly and, what it was. Literally three days. Tr on acid, trying to get to sleep because I had to get up in the morning to caddy and three days by Jane's Addictions playing. And it's like, this is not... There's a lot of gears, like literally just visualizing gears. Well, you couldn't not, take that, what are the melatonin or whatever people... They, not that, back then. That didn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> this is 89, Bill. It you know there was no melatonin. Get no sleep or do, drop some acid. Yeah. That album is a fucking masterpiece. Totally and, agree. And Stephen Perkins drumming on it. Yep. Like how creative it was and different. He totally imploded the whole snare on two and four thing, bass drum on one and three. He just like, it was more like percussion, yep. but it totally worked. And the sound of his cymbals, his dynamics, the whole thing. That is still an album. Like, I don't know, how old is that album? 34 years. 30, I, it yeah. still makes, I get goosebumps when I listen to it. Yeah. I love and it. And then the funny, and it also had that thing where Ben Caught Stealing was the single, and it's like the worst song on the album. You know what I mean? Like, it's silly compared to the rest of the album. Yeah, but there's still really interesting elements where, like, uh, Perry Farrell is so good, you don't realize that the lyrics don't rhyme. And how he Never threw that, that, he threw it all out the window. Like, I didn't need to fucking rhyme. I have something to say here, and I'm saying this. I'm not going to try to figure out what rhymes with grasshopper. Did you ever see them live? Yeah. Did you? I never saw them live. Yeah. I regret it. That Lollapalooza, did you go I didn't to, like, go Jane's Addiction? I oh, you went, oh, I saw them later. A buddy of mine saw them at uh, Rocky Point. Where's that? The, it w it was one of those theme parks that that wasn't Disneyland that just that lived around in in like there was always like one state away there would be some sort yep. of from, and, and it was the rides were super dangerous and there was no padding left in the seats. I went there on an altar boy retreat. Fantastic. Yeah, got beat up <laughs> by who? Another church? This fat, kid, this fat the kid with a dead tooth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're you you're hair metal. Uh, but you have a now, but you more and more you've talked about sort of like having a temper on stage. Oh, then we say, but more and more you're going to see like Madonna. Yeah, but you did go see Madonna. Yeah, I blew it. I blew it with like I was like really like uh, I was almost borderline racist with my with my music, where I was just like, there's only one kind of music. <laughs> this is superior. <laughs> like if I had just switched a few words, I could have been the the grand dragon of the clan. <laughs> Um, except I wasn't talking about people. I would only listen to metal. Be and what it really was was I was a, I, I was so walled off emotionally that anything that actually brought up feelings to me, like I didn't want to feel them because I knew that that was that was a free fall into yeah. this this, yeah, 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 this yeah, yeah. eight hundred pound gorilla that I ignored until my forties. And um, so anything. So you would just focus on anger, aggression. Like, yeah, aggression. I related to you know. You know, all, those, all those metal bands had their ballads. You sure, know, to get but the, that was always about like chicks, one you know? chick. Yeah. That's what I loved about the metal bands. They played the ballad. You know, they were trying yeah, to they get go like, they here got you laid too. Yeah. Because not all those chicks made it backstage. Some of them stayed in the crowd and <laughs> fucked us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Those bands were great. And what I loved too was that they, you know, everybody could play. They could really fucking 
play. And it wasn't just about being able to play. Like you had to like shred, like there was an insane and the level of musicianship, because there was no internet, we were all just rewinding cassette tapes and slowing down records. I say we, like, I, I mean, I was trying to do it, but the, the, there was always just that gifted kid that could figure it out. Like guitar solos. Yeah, they solos. all seem like they went to Berkeley School of Music. Like whenever you do research about C.C. DeVille or any of these people from like the- No, those a guys were all self-taught. They oh, were, were self-taught. Really? Yeah, you were self-taught. You found somebody else. And then there was always these rumors, you know? There was always a guy two towns over that could play Eruption. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Dude, I was at a party. <laughs> I yep, saw he it. He played it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and uh, like what I, what I, I feel bad for kids today because- they don't get a chance to develop like a scene because everyone's just like filming it. And like, um, and I even have it. Like if, if something happened in the middle of a jungle in Africa, if there's no video, I'm like, what the fuck? You know, like yeah. how is there no video? But, but back then what was funny was like, you know, there's this guy and like the myth of it and people would just keep adding to it. It would become like this giant fish story. Um, how big a fish you caught and but it was just like you know he can play it i saw it i was there yeah really dude i mean he wasn't even looking at the fretboard <laughs> he was just fucking ripping hey did you like that did you like that yeah did you like it though you want more don't want to work would rather watch videos of me grab assing with people first of all go up here to subscribe and then go up here to uh watch more clips this is like when the weatherman says that there's a high pressure system coming in. Although I'm not really used to the green screen.